bro, your wife called you a bro. She has proof. You look like a dyke. Let's keep it a hundred, man. Come out. Come out. Oh man, so the feud between Young Blue and Boosie is continuing on today, man. These boys going back and forth, dog. At this point, they begin showing their versions of their own receipts to prove why the next man is wrong. Blue has shown some conversations with allegedly some of uh, Boosie's other artists, complaining about Boosie never doing anything. Boosie in return has shown conversation between him and Young Blue and also him and Gazi from Empire. Speaking on the situations, you guys can pause the screen and read these receipts, man. All of that has led to Blue offering to fight Boosie in the boxing match and Boosie responded back to that boy saying he assisted man god damn before we get to the audio clip blue says this right here man everybody wrong and Boosie he's so real right nigga show the receipts I can show receipts of me giving you money from Columbia and at my pocket 100k each time you can't show me shit back you would have been posted that shit show proof that was settled to Boosie if you're a real CEO drop the book studio time videos all that marketing you said you did where are the receipts? What song you pushed? A Cuban? Hell no. Nah. You gave me zero dollars in a fake Rolex off your wrist. That's it. And I rocked that shit because it was from you. Never told nobody about that 100. I rocked out with you five years for free, but I got family too. Your contract was no good, nigga. You ain't do anything in it. You knew you didn't. I never signed a co-sign deal with you. Your company agreed to spend a certain amount of money and after five years, instead of straight up leaving, after you refused to spend money, I came to you with my idea of going to Empire and I kept it real and let you own 50% of the no shit and 100% of my old shit to end our business peacefully. After that, I went up and you going back on what we agreed on, stink ass nigga. And then to please you again, I offer you 2 million on top of that when you started bitching again. And you wanted 10 mil? Nigga, who the fuck I look like, Boo Boo the Fool? And you still want more? You should have took that two mil. But other than that, one day you can sell that catalog I gave you and give it to your kids. So pray I keep the hits coming, nigga, and selling shit out. Now I can't post my hard earned shit, but you flexed up and getting money. Everybody's supposed to be broke while Boosie getting money. So that caused Boosie to respond saying, yo wife, lol. Why you ain't never claim your wife? Why you ain't never do an interview about your wife? Why you ain't never make a song about your wife? Why nobody don't know about your wife? Cause you were ashamed of your wife. She want a divorce lawyer now, that's your wife. That's a nigga for you. Blue responded saying, I got platinum songs where I reference my wife, Boosie. I called her ice on my baby, go check it out. If you was tuned in, you would know that I dropped that when I was signed to you. You wouldn't know cause you ain't held market. <laughs> laughing that's your third lie today i made another platinum song too called unappreciated about her so then blue posts a clip of him performing a song with his lady and his baby So from that point, Blue said, fuck it, let's get it, man. You hit your own mama and bust out her window, Sam line. All them songs you made about her, you is a hoe. Cry baby ass nigga, I will beat your ass. We can box, don't bring them broke ass nigga with you when I knock your ass out. And that led to Boosie responding like this right here. I want that Casablanca. What the fuck I'ma hit my mama for? Cheap shot. Cheap shot. I ain't, I'm gonna speak facts. I ain't gonna get on your mommy and your little dick daddy. Your wife say you a sister. A wife knows your darkest secrets. That means she has proof. She has facts that you like the Statue of Liberty. Rainbow Blue, don't, yo, that's your new name, Rainbow Blue. That's why you ain't want me talking about the gay shit and all that. Be quiet. Bruh. Your wife, a wife knows your darkest secrets. She knows something. Bro, your wife called you a sissy, bro. She has proof. Your wife, bro, your wife is not, your wife know your fucking demons, bro. Stay in your place, bro. Like, nigga, this, this, 
I'm spitting facts. Everything I'm spitting is facts, nigga. Y'all forge my shit. Nigga, everything I'm speaking is facts, bro. Like, I ain't putting no lies on you, dog. Like, you is a sissy, boy. You look like a dyke. Let's keep it a hundred, man. Come out, nigga. Come out, nigga. It's that time. Come in the caption, Boosie puts this right here. Rainbow blue, blue Van Dross, Jeremy Biddles, blue the bull dagger. God damn, okay. He says we should have knew before she brought it to light. A wife knows her husband, no cap, come out. I know that chick on the plane was like, is this nigga not right? Then you want your wife to look like a tomboy. It's easy to see. It's okay to come out. We're all equal, just like different things. God damn, so that's where we at at this point, my peoples, man. These boys, uh, it got dirty, it got, it got nasty. I can't lie to you, I rock some bullshit, but Blue was making some points, but at the same damn time, I'm a Lil Wayne fan. Drake and Nicki Minaj do amazing goddamn numbers. They do very, very well. Wayne don't listen to none of Drake and Nicki Minaj album. He don't listen to nothing for himself, but they were signed under Young Money and Thrive, and so that's not really a testament saying that Boosie wasn't doing the right thing business-wise. But nevertheless, if you sign that contract, you gotta go through that contract. Unless we see something on that contract, we don't know. We can't really tell what's right from wrong at this point in time. These boys just going back and forth. It's gonna take their lawyers to go figure that thing out in court, man. But this is crazy. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I'm going to get up out of here, though. It's your boy Stacy. Yo. Don't forget to show Stacy some love by smashing the like button. Enjoy.